Hello guys and welcome back to this new episode. So in this new episode we are going to talk about blue people. Yes, we got that right. Blue people because that is one also random piece of information that I'm encountering. And that's absolutely like fascinating, blue people, right? Uh, it uh, uh, would be able to um, help us reflect on how we classify people, right? Is a blue person a person? Um, philosophically, I mean. Um, so it's a very interesting, right? Because uh, in philosophy, for instance, we have pink water. Um, is, is pink water water? And um, so many other uh, fascinating um, uh, topics for discussion um, that I'm not gonna go into right now because I'm making a video on blue people. So let's go straight to the point, blue people. This is not fake news, that's all I wanna say. All right, uh, at a certain point, blue people existed. All right, so uh, we are in the 1820s um, when um, Martin Fugate marries Elizabeth Smith. Um, from their union, Zachariah Fugate was born. Now, Zachariah Fugate was a blue baby boy. Um, from that point onwards, many other blue people were born. Um, we are locating this in the specific region on the Appalachian uh, in Kentucky. Uh, those were at the time known as the people from not only Kentucky but the Troublesome Creek in Kentucky. They were actually born blue. Now, uh, the color um, could vary in its uh, intensity, so we went from like very light blue to very dark blue. Sometimes after birth, um, those babies would uh, discolor naturally and it would remain something like, uh, let's say, on their lips or on their nails, but not a lot, a lot. And it would become very apparent only uh, when it was called. For instance, Benjamin Stacy was a typical example, right? Doctors could not really explain why that would happen to the point that when we know Benjamin Stacy was born, they were thinking he was cyanotic, right? So he didn't have oxygen and he would not live. In reality, all the blue people we know of at a certain point naturally died, but they lived a pretty healthy um, life. So what was going on? Um, why were those people blue? Um, it's very simple in its um, explanation. So there was a French, um, French uh, um, bunch of uh, emigrants in the U.S. French Huguenots. Um, some of them were also in Ireland, and some of them were also in other parts of the world. And they apparently had a recessive gene. Now, uh, what happened with Martin Fugate and his wife Elizabeth Smith is that they both. Um, carried a recessive gene for what is known as methemoglobinemia. Um, and basically, this is a weird behavior um, of uh, hemoglobin. Um, what happens is basically the hemoglobin is supposed to bind oxygen. Um, and in this particular instance, it doesn't. And that is why we get the color blue. Now, um, hemoglobin behaves erratically so it doesn't bind oxygen which does not mean though that there is no oxygen because if we only had uh, methemoglobinemia um, um, but um, without any particular um, other um, behavior um, or other element then we will probably end up dead very very quickly because up until 2% it's kind of normal Okay, so there might be a 2% of hemoglobin that doesn't bind oxygen and that's kind of fine. But uh, between 10 and 20% we turn blue. But between 10 and 20% we turn blue. At 30% we develop breathing issues. At 55% we become extremely lethargic. Uh, and we go in and out of consciousness. At 70%, um, that is a life-threatening 
condition. Now, as it has been um, proven, um, basically blue people uh, were healthy. And the reason why they were healthy, notwithstanding this condition, is because um, what they really had was decreased level of a particular in enzyme um, known as diaphorase. Um, when we have um, a shortage, a lackage of this particular enzyme, we'll end up blue without though, having proper symptoms. There was also another doctor, K. Wayne, that tried to cure um, this. The solution was at the time to give them, uh, to give blue people a sort of blue dye. Um, actually, uh, for some weird reason, uh, blue dye um, can um, turn the person blue into pink back again. Um, however, it's just like a very temporary sort of solution. Another one is assumption of ascorbic acid known as vitamin C. Um, those people eventually uh, moved out uh, from the Appalachian. Uh, inbreeding was very, very common. That is why people with uh, recessive genes ended up having uh, blue kids, but once they moved out of the area and they started uh, meeting other people and coming in contact with other people, then marriages were not so much within that community, but uh, they would get married to a bunch of other different people. And so right now the percentage of finding a blue person is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, does not virtually exist, right? But I found all of that particularly interesting, uh, how an enzyme can make person blue you know um, which is kind of funny because that has all sorts of implication and we definitely um, do not know how was the life back then if they were alienated uh, if there were enough blue people in that community for them to be considered normal um, what happened and how they lived their own condition uh, we do have a picture um, that I have shown you in this video uh, and that's the only thing that we have um, but that doesn't uh, prohibit us from thinking about it and so please leave your comments below let me know what you guys think don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and we'll talk some more next time with a new different topic bye guys bye bye